Loudspeaker versus headphone impedance. This question comes to us from James in Arbroath, Scotland. Okay. And he writes, help! <laughs> I am so confused. In your video on loudspeaker impedance, you said that lower impedance loudspeakers stress amplifiers more and consume more power, if I understood you correctly. Yes, you did. So can't be too confused about that because you got that right. Therefore, <laughs> okay, I'm confused because everybody I speak to about headphones says that high impedance headphones offer better sound quality but take more power to drive. Mm -hmm. How can there be such a difference between loudspeakers and headphones? It just doesn't make sense to me. Can you help a young budding audiophile out? Of course. I love your videos and your passion for this industry and hobby. Thank you, James Holland of Scotland. Well, James, I hope you're watching today. It's a fairly recent question. I'm, I've been trying to answer recent questions as best I can so we can get some guy out here grinding away on something. Sorry about that. And birds, I, we had this cool, uh, there's a whole bunch of baby birds inside of our little bird thing. I was just, I hadn't noticed before. And they were in there yelling at their mama for food. Um, I think we're mixing up terms here. And, and this happens a lot, especially when people are, are experts out in the field. The, the <laughs> YouTube and the internet crack me up. And here's why. People get a little bit of knowledge and they then classify themselves as a frickin' expert. That happens all the time. It happens in government, it happens, and I won't get into politicians acting like they know what the hell they're talking about, you know, when it comes to medicine. I mean, give me a break. Unless they're doctors, and very few of them are. Um, and, and on the internet we have hi-fi guys that know a little bit, just enough to be dangerous, as they say, and then they use terms that are incorrect, and then poor James gets confused. So, here's the thing. When you have higher impedance headphones, and I, I'm not going to comment whether they sound better or worse. I'm not really a good headphone guy. <clears throat> I, I love headphones. I don't pay a whole lot of attention to headphones. So, I don't know. But if the impedance in the headphones goes up, you don't need more power to drive them. You need more voltage to drive them. Okay? Now, we've talked before about this. Voltage, the high, voltage is loudness, right? So, the more volts you have, the louder something's going to play. And if you um, want something to play louder, you've got to have more voltage to it. If the impedance is high, um, then in order to move the diaphragm in your headphones, you're going to need a fair amount of voltage, right? And as, and, 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 but we're not going to use a whole lot of power because high impedance, high voltage, remember, amps times volts equals watts. So amps is our current, which is what we need more of when the impedance goes down and less of when the impedance goes up. Voltage is always the thing that's going to determine our loudness. So with high impedance and high voltage, you're going to get a reasonable amount of sound coming out, but you're not going to use much power because the impedance is higher, thus we use less current. So more voltage, less current, we get the louder sound, we don't use more power. And so those things are really easy to get confused about. Um, uh, it's just, yeah, we'll go over and over and it, you know, here's what I found out. Some people who already understand it go, oh God, I'm so damn tired of this guy talking about voltage and impedance and eh, eh. sorry, go pick roses or something. Every time I explain this a little differently, some people, a few people, I mean, we've got a hundred thousand plus listeners or viewers, whatever it is on YouTube, right? So some portion is going to go, Aha! Well, I just got it. I know he said it 10 times, this way, that way, and the other way, but right now I'm in a mood that's receptive, and he said just the right words that resonate with me. That's what I'm trying to hope to do, okay? Because I know how it works. I've heard, I mean, good 
God, how many times has somebody said something to me and it just went right out the other side. And then one day they said it in such a different way compared to the circumstances that I was at at that point in my life and it clicked. When we can do that, when we can teach, when we can make that connection and click in people's minds, oh, as a educator, a guy who's just trying to help people, th th nothing brings more joy than that. So I hope that helped, James, and enjoy yourself out in Scotland. I think I'm Scottish. That's My father told me I'm Scottish, although when we went to Ireland, I think I've probably told this story before, we went to a bar called McGowan Bar, and I said, I pretty sure my father told us we were Scottish descent. And he goes, no, nah, you're Irish. I said, how do you know that? He goes, well, because even Scots aren't Scots. They're just people that came from Ireland and decided to stay, but they're actually Irish. So, <laughs> cracks me up. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.